the name Redbridge Maple Farm comes from a small uh, covered red bridge walkway that we have on our property. My son, my husband said that they would build me a little bridge. And pretty soon, and my grandsons helped as well, it became a covered bridge. And it was just a labor of love. And uh, it's my little red bridge. How did this all start? This really started when uh, I met with a district forester. I think the person who was already doing some work in the woods said, do you know how many maple trees you have and why don't you do something with them? And I thought, well, maybe we could do a little maple syrup, just a little. So my son Patrick and I were walking through the woods and I said the same thing to him. And, and I said, well, if we're going to tap four, four, five, let's, let's do 20. And then 20 became 50. So that's, uh, that's where it really got started from. The two of them got to talking and it was something that they wanted to do together. That's how it all got started. Originally, it was just the two of them. And then slowly I kind of saw what they were doing. And once the first season really got started, it got, I got kind of, kind of pulled into it. The basic process of making the syrup for me has really been a learning process. My mom and I walked through the woods and tried to figure out in the in the fall which one is a maple tree and then which one is a sugar maple tree. And we generally got it right. Uh, I, there are four trees that we most certainly got wrong because they produced absolutely no sap whatsoever. Um, so I, I think that's part of the learning process. And then uh, drilling a small hole in the, in the tree and uh, putting the spile into the tree. When we put those in, uh, and that, that sap started flowing out so quickly, we just hit it at the right time this very first year. Um, it, it started flowing right away. And so you had to get that tap in there and you had to get that, that bag that catches it all up there pretty quickly. After we started collecting the sap, um, we would go around there in the evenings after work and collect bags and sap and it was really a family endeavor. There was all of us out there including uh, Tanner and my other son Mason. You basically just take out everything but the syrup. You take out all the water and just leave the syrup which I think is the neat part of the process is you're not adding anything. There's no preservatives, there's no ingredients, there's nothing. It's just what nature and God gives you and you just take out the water and everything left is just the syrup which I thought was a neat part of the process. Probably the most uh, profound thing was how much everybody really enjoyed doing it. And, you know, there were some late nights out there boiling the evaporator, and there were some times where this, the label didn't go on just right, or um, one time that mom dropped the thermometer into the sap while it was boiling, we had to get it out. Oh, shoot. So, it, so a lot, a lot of fun memories that 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 I really loved. But the most profound thing was really uh, everybody really enjoyed helping out and pitching in. So when I moved here, see, I thought I was retired, and then we got chickens, and then we got into this process. Well, I'm not retired anymore, but really, I think. It was learning a brand new thing. You never get too old to learn new things. And we did this year. What I enjoy the most um, about the whole adventure we're having in make, making maple syrup from our trees here is it's a family project. And all the family is involved in some way. I really love not only the time with Patrick, but I've really enjoyed spending the extra time with Judy. Um, it's been great kind of building up, building our bond even more. I think all of this is just a really neat example of being able to work together as a family. It's, it's, it's pretty fun. People always say home is where the family is. And we really started this hobby farm as a family. 
and we hope that the taste of our syrup brings that same taste of home.